hello and welcome to another video of me Esther from gather and create I have a fancy fold card for you today I uh, love fancy fold cards I love fancy fold cards that are easy to make more than anything so my my real uh, passion really is to make things that you can replicate easily that are not complicated but still have the wow factor to them so um this is the design i'm going to make it with the same um uh design of designer series paper the same suite i should say um but slightly different design so this is how it opens up you've got a little tab there which you open up and then opens up to a little stamped element but as you can see it's the designer series paper which is what's stamping up cool our um scrapbook paper you might have heard it or pattern paper and um, yeah it really lets that do the talking for you so there's not much stamping this is all very quick stamping and it's quick and easy to put together so let me just show you in the catalogue the um, garden impressions designer series paper so for £10.25 you get 48 sheets, uh, four of each, 12 double sided designs and the other handy thing about um, our stamping up papers is that they um, have a little coordinating cardstock pack so everything coordinates with stamping up so if you just get that pack and that pack of paper, one of the inks and you'd be well away making lots of things. So then the other let see if I can remember. No, it's not happening. I thought for one second that I might be able to remember the page number of the abstract impressions stamp set, but that that was not to be. I should really not set myself up for form. Okay, so this is the stamp set. So it's just on the inside. That is what I use on the inside. I have done some other videos using the dies, which are beautiful. So let's get going on today's project and um, done some of the cutting already and left some of it to show you. So I'm going to start with actually the the whisper white piece, this piece that folds up. So, and um, so this actually, imagine that's a full piece of A4. I've already cut one off to make one of those. So I'm not going to touch the length of this at all. So if you just imagine this is a full sheet, you just have it on the short side, um, the same as I've got it on the short side here. And I need to cut that at eight and a half centimetres. And then I'm going to turn it this is the full length of A4, I'm not touching the full length of A4 at all, um, and score that at 14.9 centimetres, which is in half. Oops, caught that on my nail. And that's that bit down. Let me just fold that down with my bone folder. And then the other cutting I want to do, I'm going to use Calypso Coral this time. So where I've got Knight of Navy as the base on this one, I'm swapping that out for Calypso Coral. And this time I'm starting at the halfway mark because I have it the other way around. I'm starting at 14.9 to cut it in half. Turning it. And cutting it at ten and a half. So this is essentially the same size as a card front normally is, but we only need this rather than you would have it like that. And that would be your score line and not your cut line. Okay. I think I've done all the other cutting. I'll soon find that out as I go along the way. So my intention is to have this on here. Then this on here, that layered on the top. Oh yes, I had one more thing I need to cut, and I need to cut the tab. 
So I already have the layer of design series paper for the tab. So let's cut that. That's why I have the clip so far on that still. So that needs to be. Let me just check my own notes. 32 centimeters by 13 centimeters. So actually, let me cut that at two centimeters first. Swing it round and trim it down to 13. Then I've got one more job to do on my trimmer, and that is to score it at nine centimeters. So that's now giving me my little tab. Which goes that on there. And I'll be wrapping it around that. The next thing I'm going to do is the stamping for the inside of the card. I'm using the Garden Impressions stamp set for that. Sorry, Abstract Impressions. The design series paper is called Garden Impressions. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's um, these grassy bits and these flowers. So I'm using this as the outside. This will be the inside. And I'm going to use Soft Sea Foam, which is one of the coordinating colours um, of the... And design series paper pack. It's not necessarily got it. No, hang on. Um, yeah, it's not necessarily got it on here. It's garden green, I think that is. Um, but I wanted it to be fainter. I didn't want it to be really a strong green. So I'm just going to go along here. that and then I'm going to stamp my flowers so I've already mounted them on the blocks if I put them together you can see that you really want them to be facing the same way because this is your flower shape and then this is the accent on the flower so they're designed to line up with each other don't worry about having it completely perfect you know it is called abstract impressions after all but that is the way it's designed to work i'm going to use one ink but i'm going to use one ink full strength and one ink stamped off so my my main flower shape i'm going to have it stamped off and then the accent shape i'm going to do full strength melon mambo so stamping off you just literally ink it then you put it onto your scrap and then you stamp it. So we'll go about sort of. No, I actually want to keep it level so I know where I am. There, and then same again. And I'll just sort of overlap slightly. So that is the flower shapes. And then now in with the accent colour. Um, accent stamp in colour but full strength and bearing in mind I don't want to lean in so I might not have it completely lined up and then this side there you go that's your flowers inside now while this is open I think that I will do my sentiment on the front so so happy about your happy news and I'm going to go in with um, Melamembo again to make sure that's high enough up to get my tag Photopolymer, so you could do your punching and then your stamping. But I'm just lining that up so it's all equidistant. 
straight and squeeze. And that's all the stamping done. It's now just a matter of putting it all together. So I'm going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue because that will give me my wiggle room. Light squiggles. I love to sort of scream summer, doesn't it? I don't know why I'm looking at that. It bothers me, even though I can't see it. <laughs> it's going to be the right way around. Okay, you don't have to be crazy to craft. That's just my thing. Straighten that out. And if you've got anything that's overlapping, you can just take your snips to that. If you need to be. So now... Um, thick whisper white piece that I stamped. Just lay that over the top. Okay, line it up. And that leads its bit of designer series paper on there. nice to send a card that just opens up a bit different. You've got a pile of birthday cards, this is the one people are going to be admiring. Okay. Now for my little piece. Is it because I cut that the other way? Doesn't really matter. I'm talking about the direction of these little spodges but I'm not going to get too hung up on that. The pattern I should say, not the spodges. Press that down. So making sure that everything is the right way around. That's a little gluing. Just lay that inside. Just want to take that excess off there. You want it to be able to open. You could use some tear tape instead if you're messy like me. I can tidy that up in a moment. It's getting glued there. That's where we're attaching it. So, so now glue on my thumb. Always have glue on my thumb. I'm going to pop that there and I'm going to put my dimensionals actually straight on here so that I know nothing is going to peep out the back. About three should do it. And then I'm lining up this um, tailored tag punch with the edge of the card. Gives it a nice, neat finish. So that is all there is to it. The recipient will then receive this. They can go like that. I will clear my glue off. Don't look at the gluey bit. <laughs> Lift it up. You can stamp another sentiment if you want. I quite often like to leave my cards blank for when... I need them because happy news could be anything um, and that is it that does stand up on its own also so you can 
let me know which is your favourite colour combination. Obviously, this is perfectly acceptable to put it in some more uh, masculine colours or whatever you choose. It's just a great one to have to hand in your crafting um, armoury and uh, give it a go. Thanks so much for watching today. I'll see you all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.